So I just wanted to make a quick NFL News and Rumors video for you guys talking about the Seattle Seahawks and defensive end Frank Clark, formerly of the Kansas City Chiefs. So uh, here on the screen is going to be a snippet from an article uh, on the screen from NFLTradeRumors.com. Um, and in this article, it talks about um, the best free agency fits for Frank Clark this offseason. And the Seattle Seahawks are, are, are mentioned as one of those teams. And I want to talk about them in this video. So uh, if you want to check out the entire article for yourself, a uh, link will be in the description. Let's get right into it. So uh, it says Seattle Seahawks. This would be a homecoming for Clark as he began his career in Seattle before being traded to the Chiefs. Seattle likes to have a veteran presence in their edge rushing group. In recent years, Bruce Irvin and Carlos Dunlop have filled the role. Clark would be a natural fit. So um, if the Seattle Seahawks are able to get Frank Clark this NFL offseason, this defense for the Seahawks in 2023 would have gone through a complete overhaul with players like Devin Bush going there, players like Julian Love going there. Obviously, they brought back Bobby Wagner. And if you're able to bring on uh, defensive end Frank Clark to add to this uh, to this edge rushing group, that would be tremendous. That would be the cherry on top, plus the NFL draft around the corner. They could be in the market for a Jalen Carter, for example. All of a sudden, this this uh, Seattle Seahawks defense could be getting a lot better and actually be one of the best groups in 2023, uh, getting back to what made them successful back on in the early 2010s when they were Super Bowl champions. So uh, the Seahawks are a team that I would keep an eye on to add a little bit more uh, to their team, especially in regards to defense. Why stop now, right? They've done a pretty good job at adding players to this team, um, adding impactful players to this team. And I think Frank Clark uh, would be a tremendous fit to the Seahawks team uh, and just makes a lot of sense too, um, given the fact that he probably will not be very expensive, um, considering that he's still a free agent at this very moment now. Uh, Frank Clark, of course, is a three-time Super Bowl champ, or sorry, a two-time Super Bowl champion and a three-time Pro Bowl champ, uh, Pro Bowler, right? Um, last year in 2022, of course, he won with the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I do believe he won in 2019 as well with the Kansas City Chiefs and just missed out on the Seattle Seahawks championship. Uh, I think his first year was in 2015, so uh, just missed out there. But uh, yeah, the Seattle Seahawks are a team that can make a lot of sense for Frank Clark. Obviously, him uh, starting his uh, starting his NFL career off there, knows the organization, um, knows the city, and could be a pretty good fit. This would be a pretty seamless transition for Frank Clark uh, if, you were to, if you were to go back to the Seattle Seahawks. Also, too, uh, Washington State has no state income tax, so you get to keep more of your money there, which is always a good thing. Uh, and the Seahawks are a team that are going to be pretty fun to watch in 2023 with this new and improved um, defense for them. So I actually do think that Frank Clark, who, by the way, um, had five sacks last Last year uh, and 39 tackles and did force a fumble so pretty solid stats there would make a lot of sense for this team right it's never a bad thing adding too many edge rushers to this team and if he were to, go to and if he were to go to the Seahawks he would be just that and as mentioned in this article um, and in this uh, in this paragraph they have in recent years had players like Bruce Irving and Carlos Dunlop sort of fill a void as a veteran presence for their defensive edge so uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. If you're a Seahawks fan, do you want the team to explore the possibility of signing Frank Clark this offseason? Leave all your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.